Thank you, Ed. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. As Ed says, this year's Trust Barometer was filled during another remarkable year. We had hoped by now that the pandemic would be further behind us and things would be looking more optimistic. And yet trust is at an all-time low in the UK, with three of four institutions now distrusted. This leaves business facing increasing and new expectations, all while in the context of COVID recovery and unprecedented disruption across most sectors. It is an increasingly complex landscape to navigate. Today, we will look at the key trust findings for the UK with a specific focus on the role of business. Firstly, where does the UK fit in the global context? When we look at trust across the four institutions, we see a widespread decline of trust in Western-style democracies. Germany, followed closely by Australia, the Netherlands, South Korea and the UK all saw declines of five points or higher. Not a single Western country left in the group of trusters. The UK is languishing in the distrust zone, having fallen 11 points since autumn to a trust index of 33. That puts the UK just one point ahead of Russia in November. As Hugh says, trust overall in the UK is down, but this is seen most acutely in the loss of trust in government and media. Government is down to just 29 and media to 22. As you can see, although impacted by general decline in trust, business fared the best in the UK. Here we saw a decline of just six points, with business remaining above all other institutions. And if we reflect on trust data from the past years, what we see is the key difference between trust in business and NGOs is not the desire to affect change, but the actual ability to get it done. Zooming in on government, the outlook is frankly and unsurprisingly bleak. Britain's trust in government has declined at all levels, falling 13% since November alone, suggesting controversy around Downing Street events has had wider implications for the entire political system. What's not shown here is that no party leader is immune to this distrust. And so it's therefore not surprising that almost ten, eight, sorry, eight in ten Brits think that the way politicians behave is undermining trust in government. Almost three quarters think that politicians' behaviour makes society more divided. And two thirds think that politicians act in a way that undermines democracy. Fundamentally, people feel disenfranchised with the political system. The numbers make for stark reading and the implications are real. Almost six in ten feel powerless to do anything about what's going on around them. Fewer than a third of people think that their vote actually makes a difference and just 15% think that the political system works in their favour. All of this, of course, has a profound impact on the way we interact with the world around us. And this feeling is made worse by a media that is seen as highly divisive. Even more so than government, the media is seen as a force that divides us as a society rather than one that solves or unites. For example, 62% of respondents believe that journalists and reporters are actively misleading people. This sentiment is reflected in the further loss of trust in news sources. Trust in traditional media is down eight points. Trust in social media is down four points to just 24. No media is trusted as a source of general news and information. Although interestingly, trust in owned media is up six points, which reflects the increased trust in business as a credible source of information, which we're gonna to touch on more a bit later on. So what does this mean for the role of business? Well, when assessing the ethics and competence of all four institutions, only business is seen as both ethical and competent. All stakeholders now hold business accountable. While feeling powerless to change democracy, Brits do feel that they can impact business decisions. 52% say that they will buy or advocate for brands based on their values and beliefs, and 54% will choose a place to work based on the same values. And despite recent criticism from some of the investment community, Brits are looking for business to do more, not less. Across every single issue we tested, climate change, economic inequality, addressing gender and diversity gaps, in all of these areas, people want more engagement from business and more leadership. But business needs to demonstrate tangible action, not just words. While more, people, while more than a third of people think that business is genuinely trying to improve its impact on society, more than half of people are tired of hearing about commitments without action. They want to know what business is actually doing to positively impact society beyond what they sell. Although Brits expect more action, they're not convinced that this will deliver results. In fact, 60% believe businesses only make commitments to support their marketing efforts. And frankly speaking, people think it's easy for businesses to make these commitments, but less likely that they'll meet them. 
And when it comes to talking about what business is doing to benefit society, CEOs remain the critical voice. Almost 80% of people expect CEOs to be personally visible, and when considering a job, more than half of UK employees expect CEOs to speak publicly on the issues that they care about. The workplace has now become a significant source of trust, with one in three people feeling closer to their co-workers and 60% of people trusting their CEO to do what is right. But it's not just about the CEO. More than three quarters of people in the UK trust their employer to do what is right as well. That's up five points from last year. And employers are also seen as the most credible source of information. 65% believe information from their employer after seeing it just once or twice, which is higher than information from government or from media sources. There are three key areas where business can take a leadership position and build trust. They may sound simple, but doing them well is not so easy. It starts with business embracing its mandate from society, including the following. Understanding the expectations on your business, being really clear about the role and the issues that you act on, being open about your journey and demonstrating progress through your actions and communicating through the right sources in authentic and credible ways. So that's the data and we'll now hand back over to Ed.